And there you go. That was actually the first time I tried after uh, last episode, but there we go. <laughs> Alright, five chests and the 63 stars. This allows you to put up to... Give somebody up to... Give up to three people the one MP cost ability on an armor. But I'll be only using two of them. Um, and the third one, the third set, it, it takes 20 of them to be able to do it. And they actually... Where are they? Okay, there we go. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Ah, oh, I hate when it does that. Where are they? There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, it uh, reduces your party's MP cost to zero, so having an extra 20, one of those will, could come in handy for certain battles and all that kind of stuff, so. Alright, there we go. So yeah, we got the, uh... Wings to Discovery, the Pendulums, and the Three Stars. So, next up, I am actually going to be changing the Cloudy Mirror into a Celestial Mirror. So I'll show you how to do that. Alright. But yeah, the reason... No, I'll just... I'll explain why you want to do this now as opposed to, uh, you know, winning the Sun Sigil first, just because it, it allows you to kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I think I already mentioned this, it'll save, you, it'll save your sanity as well. Alright, yep, and like a good bird is waiting right there for us. Is there a way to get up here? Uh, no, we gotta go this way, the long way. Use this feather. Now, to change the Cloudy Mirror into the Celestial Mirror, we have to go back to Makalani Woods, so let's do that. Chocobo behind, and when we come back, it will not be waiting there, so, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, yeah, you can talk to him if you want. He's extremely rude, so there's no point. <laughs> All right, we're back in the Maklani woods. Hey, who are they? Who are they? Uh, his dad here, but he's late. I forgot we're supposed to meet. So, and he forgets lots of things. <laughs> what about the wife? Yeah, I think you're supposed to talk to these uh, each of these people uh, three times. Uh, yeah. All right, so let's go back to the campsite. That's where he's at. That's where he is. That's where he's uh, waiting. I don't know how you're supposed to know other than maybe, you know, have to go through the entire Bakalani woods on foot again. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that again. And... Oh, this must be him. They're waiting over there. Oh, there you go. Jeez. <laughs> uh, okay, what about you? Do you see him? Uh, yeah, I know. 
Oh, jeez. Alright, I guess we better go find him. Alright, let's head up here. Now, if you didn't talk to them as much as uh, three times each time, then you wouldn't be able to get up here, and here's the kid. Something around here, I wonder what it is. Is it Cloudy Mirror? Yes. Step one complete. We have the Celestial Mirror. And this is where you come to charge up your weapons as well. So there we go. Hey, they're all reading good night it again. Now, technically, I could go back to the Thunder Plains and try to get Kimari's, but one, I don't have any of his Saturn stuff yet, and two, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do that when I, uh, you know, when I'm ready to get Lulu hers. So yeah, that's why I'm not going down there yet. So let's head back to the Comlands, and yeah, I'll just meet you back at the trainer. If I see, if I fight any new enemies, then I'll demonstrate them on screen. But other than that, I'll just meet you back at the trainer. Alright, here's a new enemy, the Ogre. I was actually kind of hoping I'd run into Malboro, but... Yeah, I, guess I feel like I'm leaving you guys in the dark about that thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you definitely want Lulu's overdrive gauge charged for when you face him, but anyways. Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, yeah, let's get Sirik and uh, walk it in. Walk it can actually hit those things now, so... Whoa, get a little close there. Um, um, let's use an expo or high potion. Alright, Kamari. Riku. I should have brought Yuna in earlier. Oh, well, defend. Not all I need her now, anyway. <laughs> Trying to get Yuna's uh, overdrive gauge charged up. Nice. Alright, uh, who have I not brought in yet? Oh yeah, Waka's already been. Come on, Orange hasn't been in. And I'll have Sirak finish him off. I've been saving this one for you! And yeah, I'm almost at the trainer, so I won't bother. I'll just keep going. Alrighty. What's up? Yes, yes, yes. I want to train one, though. Alright. <sighs> okay. Dodge or Chocobo, the next level. This one, do you have uh, blitz balls flying at you? And they're, they're, yeah, it's this one and the next one are all about pattern and uh, you know just triggers and all that kind of stuff. So 16.8 or whatever it was, yeah, 16.8. All right, you have control over the Chocobo now. So just run straight. Yeah, go run straight again. Ah, crap. My reflexes are still a bit rusty from getting a couple of days off. That was close. And it gets a little quicker here. Just dodge. There we go. Flawless. Well, not really, but... <laughs> and that one's easy. Next one's a bit trickier, but again, once, as soon as you get into the, the rhythm, you'll do fine. Level 1 key sphere. Nice. Something else. Hyper Dodger. Alrighty. Balls and birds. Yeah. Yeah, if you think birds are gonna be annoying this one, oh boy, wait until the next one. <laughs> alright, this one I always seem to I always seem to get hit the first one, so alright, let's Damn it! Okay, gotta wait for the uh, bird to pass here. There we go. Damn it, didn't have the angle right. As soon as you hear the bird go by ya, you're good to turn. Yeah, this is gonna be horrible. Fuck off! <laughs> if you think that's bad, oh boy. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. I 
I said, as soon as you get into the rhythm, you're good. Just getting into the rhythm can be a pain in the butt sometimes. Damn frickin' bird. What the hell? What the hell? having so much trouble. I want to get to the next one before the end of this episode. Or maybe I'll just dedicate next episode entirely to it. So, <laughs> give you an idea. <laughs> oh, I should have just said one more time. Oh, well. Maybe I'll get a bit better luck this time. Did I get into it? Yeah, there we go. That was a little close. Sweet. Alright. Uh, here we go. And one last favor, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I will save the treat for next time. So, I'll leave you with this. Um... The person who designed the next one is probably the most sadistic person you could ever possibly meet. Uh, just simply because uh, <laughs> it really lets you know just how much into sadomasochism you are. Uh, because, well, you know, you have millions of people that played hours and hours on this thing just to trying to beat the uh, beat the clock. And yeah, that makes you masochist. So yeah, um, I guess yeah, we'll take care of that next time, and uh, hopefully. Hopefully I'll be able to upload it in the same day. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, yeah. So next episode I will pretty much be dedicating the entire episode to this next uh, version of it. Um, and if you want to go ahead by yourself, by all means, just a few tips. Um, one, priori the, the priority for if you're you know, first get used to catching balloons because you have to catch balloons and all that kind of stuff. You'll you'll see what I mean. Get used to catching the balloons. Get used to the the proximity of the bird and the capabilities of the bird. And you know, just get get used to controlling the bird. Um, and once you do that, then start focusing on the number one priority, which is dodging birds. Um, and uh, yeah, you do, as soon as you get that, then you get to the end of the race and all that kind of stuff. And hopefully, you'll be able to get the uh, beat the time. But anyways, I'll uh, I'll show you what I mean next time. This is here, 1983, signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.